last class we were work, started working on KDLB programming. So based on the specification, we started writing the code. This is the specification that we have. And uh, to get this one, first of all, we created a library so that we are going to have a library called SGDM. In SGDM, we have KDSL and we have an LB data set. Sir. First of all, I'm sorting both the data sets sir, and I'm copying both the data sets into work library. And then, you know, I started creating ADLB by merging both. And while merging, I want to have all the data from I want to have all the data from the left table and match, match they are matching data from the ADSL. So I have done that left, left join. Then I created a variable called plan treatment and actual treatment. So then I have created plan and numerical, actual numerical variables. Sir. And then I created a LBDY. ADY. <laughs> Then we have created, you know, param variable. Param, I told you, is a combination, concatenation of Tesca, Tesca, RTSU. And then we have created param CD. Then we have the parameter numerical. To create this parameter numerical, we have created use, user defined format. And then use the user defined format to create param numerical. So this is what we have done in the last class. First of all, I'm creating that user defined format. Then we'll execute the remaining code. So we created, and of course we have to create a visit, and we'll see that in a minute. A widget and also right now we have created a param param cd and then we have created a param n now tell me we need to create a param type we'll do that one param type later and then we have a param cat one so from where we should take param cat one Param category one. LB cat. LB cat. But only there is a small concern here. Can you see what we have? Calcium corrected observation sector chemistry. So everything is like and you know, whatever that we have in LB cat, LB cat is nothing but param cat one. But only one thing is like, you know, if we have any calcium and we should change that into chemistry. Okay. First of all, if you want to do that one, I'll go back to the program. I will do one thing. Can you see, do we have a calcium in it? Anywhere? Yes. This one, right? Tell me what the code you want to be right?
1 cat 1 is equal to lb cat <coughs> that what other, what other that we can do Can you tell me what, what should I do now? Now we should get param cat, cat t1. This is what should I do. Tell me how we can get the condition for this for now. Here I wanted a small piece of code. If LB cap is equal to chemistry, I'm not sure that whether we have the chemistry in the same way or not. That's why what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy from there and going to paste it over here. If LB chemistry, LB cat is equal to chemistry, then param cat one is and then is equal to what? Else if LB category is equal to hematology. Then param cat 1 n is equal to 2. Else, if LB cat is equal to coagulation, then param cat 1 n is equal to 3. Else, if LB cat is equal to myeloma, then param cat 1 n is equal to 4. So, so these are the four they want to have. But we have other things also, right? Other urinalysis. They didn't ask anything for that one. Chemistry, hematology, coagulation, and my Otherwise, you're going to get the missing values for the remaining things, right? But anyway, since they asked in that way, we are going to create that one. Then they want to have a variable called eval. What is that eval variable? How we can create an eval? Lab results. LBSTRESM. So simply what I can do now? I can write like this one. If LBSTRESM not equal to null value, then Eval is equal to LBSTRESN. Okay. And then we should have an A, Eval C. Eval C is nothing but LBSTRESC. Then how you let the code, you know, if LBSTRESC not equal to missing value, then Eval C is equal to Eval C is equal to L B S T R E S C.
Dr. Emily. Okay. Then change is equal to. Sorry, we need to create a base variable. Do you know how to create a base? Set to eval where a will f is equal to y. Tell me the programming concept. What should I do? You know, I have one zero one. I have an LB test. We have a visit. L B S T R E S N. Zero one. Elevate test is A B C. Visit is pre baseline, and the value is one two three. One zero one. A B C test. It is in a baseline. Okay, baseline. And the value is one thirty. One zero one. Test is A B C. This is, you know, a ten, and the value is one thirty two, one zero one. We have a B C test. We have it a twenty, and the value is one twenty, one zero one. A B C. It is a thirty, and the value is one ten. During that, the same data set creation. Now this is the why we have. Now tell me, which one is eval? What the base value it is going to be? Second value one zero one. L B S T R E S. Base value is that one. So this is going to be eval. Right. Now we are going to create a new variable called base. In the base, what should I have? One thirty. One thirty. And the same one thirty, we should have in all the observations. Okay. Daddy. 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 Anna. Okay. Now, what is the program that you can suggest to me? Tell me the SAS algorithm to have one thirty here, like this. Anybody? What is the SAS program I should write? Get this. Anybody? How to get this one? No. You know. I will write. I will solve the data by study study. Use subject study. First of subject study not. And the LB test. Ah, uh, because the first of subject study can just only. But each subject is going to have multiple tests. No. LB test. And then I am going to sort it by. It'll be, and I, I can sort it by test. You know, whatever the thing that I want, I can sort it. Just in the by statement, I'm writing like this. But if I have three variables in the by statement, the data statement, second by statement, and you know that in the backer we are going to have first or last. So now I'm going to retain a variable called base variable, 
and I'm going to keep initial value zero. Okay? Now tell me if <coughs> LBPLFL is equal to, and I'm going to change LBPLFL as an ABLFL. Now, this is going to become ABLFL. Okay? If ABLFL is equal to Y, then this is equal to AVAL. So, now tell me if I have this condition in this example, what I'm going to have? Tell me, of writing that condition, what I am going to have? Hmm. If is equal to y, then y is equal to what? If ABLFL is equal to y, this is equal to which variable value? A value and one. So then value, one, one that will come out here, right? Yes. Now what I did already? Yes. Yes. I retained that variable. So since I retained that variable, then what I'm going to have, I'm going to have the same 130 here. Understand this one? Clear everybody this one? Again, here we have if ABLFL is equal to Y, then base is equal to what? Say, for example, here I have a 230 like this one. Okay? Then tell me what is going to happen. Again, here we have ABLFL is equal to Y. When we have ABLFL is equal to Y, then base is equal to what? Yeah, well, then what is the value I'm going to have now here? here? 230. Since we retain that variable, now the same 230 is going to happen. What is going to happen now? It is going to retain that value. Understand? Clear everybody? Did you understand the return statement? Did you practice the return statement at the basis? Yes, sir. Everybody clear this one? Yes, sir. Start. Data is equal to ADLB by study ID, Q subject ID, LB test. And then under that, uh, even I want to sort with uh, LB, BTC. So once I sorted this one, now I'm writing data, ADLB1, set ADLB. Now I'm writing the same variables, whatever the variables that I use is to sort, I'm using the same variables again. Then I'm writing retaining base variable. Initial where I want to keep the J. I'm writing if ABLFL is equal to Y, then S is equal to F. Now, if I write the run statement, do we have ABLFL? If we create ABLFL? I think we didn't create label if that, right? Yeah. 
this is a bit <coughs> already we have dnfl in our data set don't we have the dnfl So if ABLFL is equal to Y, then base is equal to a web. Now, I want to create a change variable now. If ABLFL, sorry, if eval greater than null value and base is also greater than greater than null value. Then do what I want to do. I want to create a variable called change. The change is equal to eval minus well, yes. and I want to create a percentage change. P C H G is equal to what the formula that we have? Eval minus base minus base divided by base into hundred. Or otherwise, ever minus base is equal to nothing but ever minus base is nothing but what? Change. Change. Change, uh, change yeah. divided by base into hundred. <coughs> now, I am writing end state. Forty one minus twenty seven. Forty one minus twenty seven is equal to fourteen, and the change is fifty one percent. And again, eighteen minus twenty seven minus nine. And here we have, you know, whatever the you know when we have BLFL is equal to y, whatever the available that we have, that available available has become you know retained. For all the observations which comes under the same, you know, test of the same subject. That is how we are going to have the values. Okay. We have done everything, and uh, you know, we have to create analysis toxicity grade. Grade we can do that one later, and based on toxicity grade, and we need to create. Uh, you know flag variables we can do that one later but you know when we are creating a parameter we have created all the parameters but except the two parameters remember we haven't created two parameters like glucose increase and glucose grade increase so can you see here we have when we have a param what is param param nothing but lb test and concatenating with lbstrs everything is fine but you know create a params glucose increase millimole per liter and glucose decrease millimole per liter and keep the same number of rows as glucose. Okay. Now, say for example, here I have an example study here. Did I delete this one? Okay. <clears throat> now, what I want to do, I have say for example 101. We have a parameter called glucose. Okay. And this one zero one has got this glucose parameter. Say, for example, five observations. Again, we have one zero one glucose, and we have again one zero one glucose. Now, tell me, what should I do? Now, I want to have one more set of observations. I want to have glucose increase, glucose increase, 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 and increase. Now I want to have one more set of observations. So 
glucose decrease like this one these are the observations that we have so these are the new set of observations that we want to create now that is what they are saying you know create params glucose increase millimole per liter and glucose decrease millimole per liter and keep same number of rows as glucose Okay, I will ask a simple question. You, you are very familiar with about SAS self data class, right? In the SAS self data class, sir, how many female observations that we have? Nine, nine, nine. nine. Now, you know what I want to do? And I want to have one more nine observations in that I want to have Fx. I want to have one more nine observation in that I want to have, you know, Fy. So that means along with that 19, I want to have another 18 observations. What is the program that you write? Understand my question? SAS and that class of 19 observations on the day. If we range and day, okay, nine FX and nine add a valley, FY and okay, nine observations add a valley. How we will write the program? <coughs> Tell me. Understand the question first of all. Then how we are going to add nine observations? There we should have Fx. Another nine set of observations. The concatenation. But I have only one data set now, so as of Everybody, how do I get the output statement? In the SAS of that class, we have female line observations. Now I want to have another nine observations. Sir, repeat function. Repeat function, no. Repeat function is what repeat the same value within the same observation. Is equal to F, then do I want to write the output statement? Hmm. I'm writing sex is equal to I want to have capital FX output. 
put x is equal to fy output else uh, I am getting end statement no I am getting end else output now x is equal to fy then do I am not going to output output name of the input it will write female how many observations we have nine we will write all the red observations and then only sex is equal to fx and then only same have you observed this value printer the kind of size sex we haven't ended up fx fx any print out any put nine times nine red printer out output as not only sex is equal to you have not ended up f5 f5 is only print out only value put nine times print out only if you can't put the else output and else output and else and you can't end up put Males. Get all the males. Now we go to the program. We are going to have a class one data set. Now can you see how we have now? We have one female for one female fx and f5. Again another female fx and f5. Again, now can you see how many we are going to have? The first 27 observations are going to be like this one. So total how many observations I'm going to have? 27 plus 10 is equal to 37 observations. You create the F1 though, F1 of this order M print out none. Joyce on the F low, Mali Joyce 7 is what FX Mali Joyce 7 should be F5. Louis F on the Mali Louis FX so Louis F5. I like Alice. Again, here we have female Jane, and here we have female Janet, and then we have a Carol, and then we have a Judy, and then we have a Barbara. And then we have an male. So whenever we have a female, for each female observation, now we have one fx and one fy. Now tell me, in the same way, how I should write the program to get the glucose increase and glucose decrease. Say for example, we have a five glucose observations. Now for each five, I want to have a new glucose increase five, glucose decrease five. And by the way, this is say for example for one zero one. For the same 102, we are going to have another five observations. Sometimes we may have more. 103. In that, I have a 24 subjects. So each subject is going to have five. I don't know how many observations we have for each glucose test. I am going to have multiple observations. Then, what is the programming code I should write to get that? Understand this one? At least tell me by seeing this code. If a successful F5 can repeat chamber on move, then what should I do in my LB data set? Here LB data set. Hmm. If a test. Test is equal to glucose. Test is equal to glucose. Then do output. Again, my LB test test is equal. Say for example, if test is equal to param, then the param is equal to glucose. Then then do output. My other thing is that I need to put param is equal to glucose. Output. My other param is equal to glucose decrease. Output. Else output. Isn't it? Understand this one. Yes, sir. Now yes, sir. I want to do that one. Now right now we have an ADLB one data set. First of all, I'm sorting that one. Proc sort data is equal to data is equal to ADLB one. Then I'm writing by. I want to sort it by study ID, USUBJ ID, and then and that I want to have it by LB test. I want to have an LB BTC. Now first of all, I'm sorting that one. Now I want to know that where we have any glucose or how we have any glucose and you know glucose increase or decrease. Say for example, where we can find that one, you know, param CD. By the way, 
Remember how we have created a param series from where we have created this param series? LB test CD. Very good. We have created from the LB test CD. So I want to get the LB test CD, you know, all the unique codes for our convenience I'm writing broadcast scale. Select. Sorry. Select. Okay. Unique. Sorry. Distinct. Distinct as it's very unique for right channel. Distinct. Param CD from AD LB1. Distinct is a unique for right channel. Let's kill. Where we have the glucose, by the way? <coughs> Tell me what is the code you want to be right now? We sorted the data. No. Data. ADLB2, set ADLB1, I am taking the same variable that what I use for sorting. Hmm. Implementer Japan. If Param is equal Ram CD is equal to C equal to sorry. Ten do. <coughs> what I want to do? Oh, I want to output. Then again, I want to have param CD is equal to param CD in general. Glucose increases. Glucose? Iron. Glucose, iron, and a put param in the student. This is the water. Param is equal to this is the one they want to have. And the param say what they want to have? The glucose increase. Of course, the program. Now parameter param C is equal to glucose increase. And then what else? And I told you, remember, what is the param type we should have? Very good. Very good. Param type is equal to? Param type is equal to derived improvement in the If you are newly creating a parameter in Adams, param type is equal to derived. Otherwise, param type is equal to what we are going to have? Output. Hmm. Next change in the code. So again, param CD glucose. Param CD glucose decrease. Glucose decrease. Glucose decrease and this also derived. Next change and put output and else output. And then what we should write now? We should enter our statement. Now, you know, I want to do one thing to, to show this one. I do not want to have all the observations. So I will select only few observations and by the way, I want to select only this subject observations. Okay. Yeah. Only this use subjected observations because I want to show it to you. So, I am writing if US UBJ ID is equal to And LB test CD is equal to 
glucose. Because I want to select only that subject, only those observations. Can you see? I got only those. When getting all this, <clears throat> Why I am getting those many observations? Did I select the use of the theory? All these observations belong to the same subject? No, right? observations why I'm not getting only Can you see? For this subject, we have 30 observations. Can okay, you see? For each glucose observation, we have one glucose increase, one glucose decrease. No, I don't want to. Can you see? We have param uh, glucose 10 observations. And for the 10 observations, now we have a 20 observations. If you see these 20 observations, uh, you know, 10 glucose decrease observations, now 10 glucose increase. So now these 20 observations are newly created in Adam data separation. That's why we have a time. So for each subject, if we have a 10 glucose, now we have a 20 observations. So this is what they have asked, you know, create params glucose increase, glucose decrease and keep the same number of rows as glucose. So since we have a 10, now we have a 10 plus 10, 20. Understand this one? So to explain this issue, I have written this code. No, we do not require that one. I am taking that one out. Clear everybody? Once you have done with that one, the next thing that we need to have in it, we have done with the param CD and then now we need to create this one, analysis toxicity grade. Derived toxicity grade for only derived parameters as below. What are the derived parameters that we have? Glucose increase and glucose decrease. Okay. Now create this analysis toxicity grade, AQXGR. That is what they want to have. And by the way, this is the you know algorithm. This is that what they have specified in specification. Now, by reading this specification, please tell me the what the if condition I should write uh, to create that toxic degree for glucose increase and glucose decrease. 
And by the way, what is the toxic secret I told you? If you have higher than the upper limit, lower than the lower limit, we should create the toxic secret. Okay, now, a, a person should have a, you know, glucose, I will say, for example, 80 to 120. Okay. Now, which one is more dangerous? Is it 70 or 40? In a hypoglycemic condition, which one is more dangerous? Now we should create a toxic grade. So it should be one, two, three, four, five like that. Now that is what they suggested here. So create a toxic grade for glucose increase, create toxic grade for the glucose decrease. Now what it is suggesting? Tell me if condition the perfect rate. Is if LBSTR is L <coughs> greater than LBSTR and less than or equal to five hundred to fifteen point nine, then analysis toxicity grade is equal to Oxat Salvandri. What does it mean if LBST and R H I less than? LBST RSN and LBST RSN less than or equal to 59.9. 15.9. What does it mean? How we can achieve condition this one? LBST and RHI ever come less than or equal to LBST RSN. LBST RSN. And if LBST RSN ever come less than or equal to undali? Less than or equal to 15.9. How we can achieve the same thing if condition? If LBSTRESN greater than LBSTNRHI and LBSTRESN less than or equal to 15.9, then A toxicity grade is equal to 1. One. Actually, I want to put Else, if LBST RESN greater than greater than nine and LBST RESN less than or equal to. 18.9. 18.9. Then A toxicity grade is equal to how much we should have? Two. Two. Now, else? Here are card card sheet which happened to Else if LBST RESN greater than 18.9. 18.9 and LBST RESN. Less than equal to twenty seven point equal to twenty seven point eight. Then then A toxicity grade is equal to three. Three. Else if L B S T R E S N greater than or equal to twenty seven point eight. Then A toxicity grade is equal to Else, zero approach in chapter. Every minute, zero approach in Else and Tetra. 
greater than 0 will be a star yes and greater than 0 LBS star is greater than or equal to lower limit to the less than or equal to upper limit to the energy of the energy of the energy of the upper limit can equal to the less than 15.9 of the energy 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 of the now tell me what should I write for glucose decrease? Tell me what is the condition should I write for the glucose decrease? If it be STR yes and less than, it will be STR and not at all. If LP, ST, RE, SN greater than 2.2 and LB, ST, RE, SN less than or equal to LB, ST, NR, LO then A toxicity grade is equal to 1. Hmm. Else, if LB, ST, RE, SN greater than 1.7 and LB, ST, RE, SN less than or equal to 2.2 then analysis toxicity grade is equal to 2 else if LB, ST, RE, SN greater than One point two. Is it length of it? No. One point two. And L B S T R E S N less than or equal to one point seven. Then A toxicity grade is equal to three. Else, if L B S T R E S N less than or equal to 1.2 then a toxicity grade is equal to 4 if lb st re sn 
greater than or equal to LB, ST, NR, LV and LB, ST, RE, SN less than or equal to LB, ST, NR, H, then A toxicity grade is equal to 0. And before writing this condition, simply what I can do now, I can write like this one. If LB, ST, RE, SN not equal to non value, then 2. Since I am writing the two statement, here I can write end statement. What I want to do, I want to write this entire thing. Okay. Now here. And the less than equal to and the less than equal to we have to write the variable. And it'll be ST Yeah. to get the base base and toxicity grade set to NRC is actually where AVLF is equal to Y for parameters with increase or decrease in param set to missing for parameters without increase or decrease in param tell me what the condition you can suggest to me for this one at least <coughs> What should I write this one? Hmm. Yeah, what the condition you want to be right? CD in glucose increase, glucose decrease, then do. What else I want to do? So, parameter compulsory of glucose increase, glucose decrease, and then and then belly injury. And If ABLFL is equal to Y, then what should I do? ABLFL is equal to Y, detoxity grade is equal to a toxicity grade is equal to A toxicity grade. Okay. And one more thing. 
the Param CD is equal to since we are adding the do statement, you should add the end statement two times. So, and one more thing, I want to retain only when we have glucose increase and glucose decrease. Retain, I want to have a B toxicity trade. Initial when I want to keep G. So it is going to create a variable called D toxicity grade that is going to keep initial value zero. And when we have a ABLF is equal to Y, then D toxicity is going to be A toxicity grade, the same value is going to get. Okay. I'm doing the old program. Now oh, this is for you. Execute the whole program together. Otherwise, we don't require DLF. We don't require this data set, right? This is for to show. I have it in the code. Otherwise, ADLB three will not require. We have only two. Then we are going to have. What is the problem? Did we write anywhere? Variable name wrong. A toxicity grade. And you should not have zero everywhere, right? If I am said in glucose in glucose DC, then go. Then I for zero every time, B toxicity grade. You should not have this zero every time, right? Should have only when we have eight of city grade. The param CD in glucose increase and glucose decrease, then do retain, but you know that is retaining the same value is copying to other variables, right? Other parameters. We should not do that one. We should have that one only for glucose increase and glucose, but the same zero is retaining for other parameters also. If able f is equal to y, then do. You do one thing, I'm going to keep this one for some time in the comment session. No, you do not have that analysis toxicity grade. You know why? Because we do not have uh, values like that. And say, for example, can you see what is the value that you have there? 5.2 okay 5.2 comes under which value in this condition is it between these two no 15.9 and 2.2 right so we do not have a toxicity grades because all these values are normal so 15.9 can equate grade creator only and at the same time 2.2 can equate but uh, we have the values are in within the range for us. So that's why grades are not getting created. At least we yes. expect the zero also. So we can do zero also. Uh, we should get zero. zero. If LB is TIS and LB is TIS, 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 then the analysis box will be able to be zero. We'll check that in tomorrow, okay? We'll see that in tomorrow. We'll continue to do this. Okay? Stay tuned.